Hey Sasquatch Chronicle fans, it's Wes with your daily vlog. Hey, you know, I'm always searching the internet, always checking the web, always trying to find interesting encounters uh, throughout the web, and I found this one on YouTube, and what's it's an interesting and very intriguing encounter of a Sasquatch approaching someone's home, but what's even more intriguing about the encounter is a person that shows up after the encounter. Uh, if you get a chance, check it out. Tell me what you think. We got a call uh, from the request from the police department up in Derry Township to send a team up there right away that another event had happened involving a close Bigfoot encounter at a trailer park up there. So we proceeded from Harmony, PA, up to that trailer park up in Derry Township. When we got there, what we found out was that the people in the trailer had heard something scratching at the end of the trailer. And all of a sudden, their lights in the trailer began to go on and off. And the woman saw this very large, very broad-shouldered dark creature running off to the other end of the trailer park. Another neighbor had caught her because he had seen something very large by her electric meter. And when we investigated, we found that apparently this thing had pulled a large electrical wire from out of the ground, and that is what was causing the light to go on and off. So what happened was that several days later, I got a call from that woman who had been at that trailer park who had experienced that event. And she called to tell me that she had found some hair samples on the trailer that might be connected with the creature she had seen several days before. She was having trouble getting to me. She had to get the operator to break in uh, as an emergency to get through because all the phone calls coming in to our hotline number at that time. And anyhow, what she called about, she was highly upset because a man had come to her trailer saying he was investigating the Bigfoot sightings in the area. She didn't know how he had even gotten her name. And he came down to her trailer and she mentioned to him that she was trying to reach me, that she had these hair samples. And he said, well, he knew me and he would take the samples to me. Are you the one that's on the Yes, yes, I am. Could I see you down here? Oh, sure. Yes, yes, we did over here. Well, I can show you this. First of all, we collected these hair samples. I'm going to take this through. I also took this picture. You can't have that picture. That belongs oh, no. to me. I'd really like to have that back. That doesn't belong to you. Investigation. There's a footprint up there. And also, there was um, some other people right there at the trailer looking. Some footprints, they had been found right near the trailer, looking around the area as well. There's the footprint. Then it went over to the footprints in the ground and began to destroy the footprints. At that point, the lady began yelling that, you know, who are you, what are you doing, I'm calling the police. And they said he ran out of there, ran back to his vehicle, which had an Ohio license plate, and almost turned over getting out of there at a high rate of speed. Now, who this fellow was, to this day, we don't know. And of course, what happened to the hair samples is something that we'll probably never know. And that's it for the daily vlog. If you get a chance, please visit SasquatchChronicles.com. Uh, and remember, if you've had an encounter and you'd like to come on the show, email me. My email address is Wes at SasquatchChronicles.com. Until next time, everyone, have a great day.